welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast, the only podcast dedicated to telling every single story of every single Medal of Honor recipient. And today's episode is episode 118. It's being brought to you by the good people over at Combat Flip Flops. They're a veteran-owned apparel company with a mission to create peaceful, forward-thinking opportunities for self-determined entrepreneurs affected by conflict. This is a lot of fancy words that simply mean helping educate Afghan women and girls, helping remove unexploded landmines and other ordnance in Laos, and helping support the members and families of the special operations community because Combat Flip Flops is helping flip the view on how wars are won, business, not bullets. And now, a tale of honor. Nathaniel was born on the 20th of April, 1840, in Boston, Massachusetts, and his father was a soldier during the War of 1812. Nathaniel worked as a watchmaker, and when the Civil War broke out, he enlisted into the 1st Regimental Massachusetts Volunteer Infantry on the 22nd of May, 1861. Within a year, Nathaniel was promoted to Corporal of the Color Guard, and the following year, he would take part in the Battle of Gettysburg. This battle is considered to be the turning point of the war, and it produced the highest number of casualties of the war. The battle took place on the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd of July, 1863, and Nathaniel entered this battle on the 2nd. It was his actions on this day that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, When his regiment was falling back, this soldier, bearing the national color, returned in the face of the enemy's fire, pulled the regimental flag from under the body of its bearer, who had fallen, saved the flag from capture, and brought both colors off the field. More than half of Nathaniel's regiment were killed or wounded in this battle, and after the war, he returned to Boston and continued making watches. He only stopped when his eyesight began to fail, and he lived out the rest of his life in South Acton. Thirty-six years after his actions, Nathaniel received the Medal of Honor on the 29th of March, 1899, and 16 months later, Nathaniel M. Allen died at the age of 60 on the 30th of July, 1900, he is buried in the Woodlawn Cemetery in Acton, Massachusetts, Central Avenue, Lot 33. And that was a Tale of Honor. Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. I really do mean it. I really am thankful for that. And if you like this podcast, please be sure to leave a nice review and a good rating because that's the only way other people are going to know that this is worth listening to. The other way is to tell your friends and family. You can see more information over on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and at talesofhonorpodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. <laughs>